whole lot of shaking going on. You know why I did this? No. Just so I could say, what's shaking the friend? <laughs> I'm going to edit that out and we're going to do a real opening. Ready, go. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the whole night what is shaking all right the friends we get asked this question quite often Nicole Kyle what is wrong with you <laughs> okay correction we get asked this second most often Nicole and Kyle I am eating in a calorie deficit to lose weight but I'm hungry is this normal absolutely it is normal Kyle and I always get hungry eating in a calorie deficit you have to remember it, especially if you're new at weight loss, your body is not used to eating less calories. You're eating less than you were before. So you are gonna be hungry. And Kyle and I have lost 130 pounds and we've kept it off for six years. So we have some experience being in a calorie deficit and we have learned some stuff along the way to help you deal with the hunger. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you the five tricks that we have learned to help us feel full while on a diet. And I'm like out of breath from all that shaking. <laughs> <laughs> it is good exercise shaking. It is neat calories. Okay, so the first one, increase your lean protein. When you increase your lean protein, it actually helps you reduce the hunger hormone ghrelin. And it also helps you feel more full. It also takes a little more energy for your body to digest protein. So, and the best part about lean protein, it's pretty low in calories, so you can eat a lot of it and it'll help fill you up longer. And these are some of our favorite things to eat for lean protein, egg whites. You can eat so many egg whites for very few calories. Yeah, and we don't just drink them out of the carton if you're wondering. We make them taste good. <laughs> you actually can put them in a protein shake if you want, but we like to make French toast with them or bake with them. Sometimes I cook them in oats. This is our current favorite lean protein. Any lean deli slices. We love the turkey, the chicken, the ham. This one is ham. I wrote on it in a Sharpie, you see? <laughs> Because it comes in a two pack, so I need to know what the other one says. Two pack Shakur. Like, you can eat three of those deli slices. I think there's like nine or 10 grams of protein in the three slices for 50 calories. They really fit in our calories, especially on the low calorie pizza. Yes, which we love and helps keep us full. Also, if you're increasing your protein, but you don't want to like eat that much, we use the protein powder and we're not sponsored by this company. We actually don't often show the protein powder we use because we're not sponsored. You gotta pay us for that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, any whey isolate we like, we really like vanilla because it's so versatile, you can use it in everything. We choose one that's like 120 calories per scoop, barely any fat, and like 20 to 21 grams of protein. And you can literally put in anything. We put it in anabolic ice cream. We put it in our, like you can put in protein shakes, oatmeal, whatever you want, baked goods. So all of these things are versatile, low calorie, and full of protein, which will help keep you full. The next one, drink water with your meals. When you drink water with your meals, it actually fills your belly up faster. And this is, we drink one of these, one and a half of these every day. When you are dehydrated, your body actually can send you signals that it's hungry and you'll start reaching for food thinking you're hungry. Actually, you might just need water. So when you're hydrated, you are less likely to reach for food and drinking with meals will really help fill your belly up faster and you'll be less likely to reach for food. This third one, I have been using for a really long time. Chew gum in between meals. So sometimes it'll be like 10 o'clock and I'm ready for lunch already because I'm eating in a calorie deficit and I'm hungry, but there's still a couple hours to go for lunch. When I chew gum, it kind of like just 
distracts me, takes my mind off of the food, but also the chewing kind of tricks me a little bit into thinking, okay, you're good for a while, you don't need to eat, and it helps with sugar cravings, especially because if you get the sugar-free gum, it's really low in calories, and they have so many flavors, and it, I always get like, I really like this Trident because it's really long-lasting, so I can chew it for a couple of hours, and then when I'm ready for my next meal, I'm like, wow, it helped me forget about it. So that's like a little trick that Kyle and I have done pretty much since the beginning. We always have gum on hand, and if we're hungry and it's not time for a meal, pop in a gum and chomp away. Number four. This one, eat slowly, chew your food slowly. I am a super speedy eater. I've always been. She even beats me and I outweigh her by 100 pounds and I can eat, guys. <laughs> I am like, like seriously, like I can just look at food and already be done eating it. But the problem is when you eat very fast, you can eat way more than you intended before your brain gets the signal that you're full. And it actually takes 20 minutes for your brain to realize you're full. So if you're eating really, really fast and you don't give your body time to realize it's eating and chewing and digesting, you're gonna probably eat way more than you intended. If you sit and you really focus on what you're eating, chewing, swallowing, appreciating the food. We actually did a, a video called the monk technique on this about how to do that and really focus on it, not only will you appreciate your food, but you'll start to really feel full and satisfied. And when I do this, I'm way less likely to reach for more food and I'm able to stick in my calorie deficit. Fifth one, high volume, low calorie foods. So what I mean by that is, eat foods that are low in calorie, but that you can eat a lot of, like, leafy greens like romaine lettuce or spinach, popcorn. We have been eating popcorn since the beginning of our journey because it is very low in calorie and you get a lot of it. It's also full of fiber and anything with fiber is slower digesting. So we do like the Smart Pop a lot, the 94% fat free. However, if you are noticing where you live, we cannot find Smart Pop anywhere anymore. And, and they'll go on and off for like months at a time where we can't get it. So we said, forget this. Get this. We're gonna buy an Air Popper and we're gonna get the kernels. And here is a little bonus for you guys. We weighed out what a bag of Smart Pop fully popped is. It's about 60 grams of popped popcorn. So we did an experiment until we figured out what 60 grams of popped popcorn was in kernels. So this is my little writing here. 70 grams of the kernels equals about 61 grams of popped popcorn. So we literally just take our scale, measure 70 grams of kernels, throw it in the popper, and then when we weigh it, it usually weighs out to 61 grams of popped. So there you go if you wanna do that. And then this is a bonus for you guys. Do this slowly. Kyle and I learned from doing way too much too fast. And we mean weight loss journeys in general. Do them very slow. Very slow. But also, when you're going in a calorie deficit, we learned like we were eating thousands of calories. I was 275 pounds. Kyle was 375 at our heaviest. I was eating about seven or 8,000 calories a day. If I would have gone way too fast, I would have failed because I would have been too hungry. So. It's normal to be hungry in a calorie deficit, but if you're feeling like you've taken away way too much food too fast, and you're so hungry that you can't function, you might have done it too quickly. We started with just a few changes, like swapping out regular pop for diet pop. That already put us in, because we were drinking seven full sugar cans of pop a day, that already put us in like a thousand calorie deficit without even touching the food. So if you go slower, you'll be way less hungry and your body will have time to adjust and slow equals sustainable. But if you do slow and steady, you win the race because it's more likely to keep the weight off that way. And um, another thing like me and Nicole say like we're hungry all the time, we have big appetites so we are generally ready to eat when it's time to eat but you don't want to be starving. No, you want to be like, okay, I'm definitely in a calorie deficit, I'm losing weight, I'm getting results, but I'm liking my food, and when I eat, it 
fulfills me, it satisfies me for a while. So if you feel like I'm just starving, you need to bump up your calories a bit. Yeah, just a little, and it's trial and error. So don't get upset with yourself or you know, give up if you're like not figuring it out. You will, you've gotta just try things and then sort of work it out. So add a little bit in if you're too hungry, and or just go really slow if you haven't started yet that's how we did it and then we sort of we now know how to work our bodies and these are the tricks that we've been using since the very beginning and we still use them now i seen that shaking at the start of the video i know you know how to work your body oh yeah work it and we're working and if you guys want to know exactly what we ate to lose our first next 50 pounds we got two weight loss guides. The links are down below. Exact meal plans, exact portions, family friendly recipes. It's all in there. Check it out. Plus, we have two low calorie recipes in the Power 13 cookbook. And another low calorie, high volume food is anabolic ice cream. And there are two really good recipes by the Iron Musket and Exercise for Cheat Meals of anabolic ice cream in Power 13 cookbook. And the discount code's down there. And watch these two videos if you want for free. And then do a shake it, shake it so you can go up to somebody and say, what sh shake it? Yeah, def and this. definitely use that joke in public. Yes, please do. And now we show them about the jump start lawnmower. Worm, worm, worm. Arm swingers and booyah kiss. Love ya. And have a great day. Love you. Shake it out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you just tore my rotator cuff by me watching you do that. I blew you a kiss too, Sam. Oh, thank you. Bye, guys. See you guys. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.